What's going on guys? Steve here. This is my Walking Dead review for Season 7, Episode 11, entitled Hostiles and Calamities. So if you've been following my reviews for this season so far, then you know that I'm not a big fan of the one single story per episode kind of episodes that they've been doing here. And we did get this this episode, but I thought that this episode was a lot more entertaining than the ones that we had in the past. It was one of the better episodes this season, but there still wasn't a lot of action in the episode. I did enjoy the episode, but I definitely thought that it could have been better at parts too. So let's get right into it. The main focus of this episode is Eugene and how he's kind of getting settled in with Sanctuary. So this episode actually takes place uh, at the same time that some of the other episodes have happened since Eugene was taken a few episodes ago. So while this is going on, stuff that has happened the past couple weeks in different locations has also been happening at the same time. We also find out who let Daryl go, it was Sherry. That was the secondary story, was the Dwight Sherry story where she had escaped, she had left everything behind her, and she was the one that let Daryl out. Now, while this was the most popular theory, some other people were saying that Dwight may have let him out, while other people were saying it could have been Carl or Jesus. So we finally got confirmation on that. Sherry will show up again later on this season, but I'm not sure exactly when. She could show up at any of the other communities, or she could get captured by Negan again. That would be very interesting if she is captured by the Saviors, because then it would show that Dwight was lying. Now, why did Dwight lie? Why did he throw the doctor under the table? He did that for two reasons. One, to save himself, and two, to save Sherry. He gets the note, but he says that he killed her, so now they won't look for her, and he makes up this lie to kind of get everyone on his side or make it more believable. So that's why he did it, and now that they have another doctor in Eugene, they don't need this doctor who Negan believes betrayed him. So they throw him in the furnace. So Dwight is a mysterious character because you still don't know if he's really a good guy or if he's a bad guy. He's kind of caught somewhere in the middle. And some of the things that he does are still pretty evil, like selling out the doctor. But then he does show some emotions like leaving the pretzels and beer, which leads you to believe that he does still have some type of conscience. So he's still kind of caught up in the middle there. Eugene is still a coward as we see that he just completely gives in to Negan. Um, he's actually helping them by, he's going to help them make bullets. He's going to help them fortify the outside. And he won't help Negan's wives who are trying to poison him. Earlier in the episode, they said that they wanted him to concoct a suicide drug so that Amber can commit suicide because she can't take it anymore. But later it is revealed that they are actually looking to poison Negan and Eugene wants no part of it. So overall, even though this took place in one location, I still thought that this episode was pretty good. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 and I think it's mainly because Jeffrey Dean Morgan is just really shines when he's on screen. Um, he shines as Negan, he's a great character and he definitely helped make this episode. So let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments below if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to us if you head over to our channel, Cool Nerd Show, and subscribe. Please like this video. Hopefully we will see you on all of our other segments.